Hulk Hogan. You know, he was a wrestler back in the day, and he he ran into some trouble. He has a starting over with a new wife and a new show, and ABC's Andrew Canning sat down one-on-one -on -one with a professional wrestler who is humbled by what he's been through, and he reveals what he would do if he had the chance to do it all over again. Half the size, twice the violence is the mantra of the new show, Hulk Hogan's Micro Championship Wrestling. But the man behind these little people, well, he's anything but little, towering over his protégés at six foot five. You guys did a really, really great job. The show takes off in a direction that most people don't think about. After they leave the ring to reach a doorknob or to go into a public restroom and use the, the sink or can't see themselves in the mirror. It's laid it all out there. The show marks a fresh start for the wrestler who once had it all, a successful career in the ring, a hit reality show, Hogan knows best, and a family that appeared to love each other. But behind the scenes, Hulk Hogan's life was crumbling. I, I bottomed out. I was in a weird situation where there was a lot of verbal and mental abuse, which I didn't understand at the time. He's referring to his very public divorce from Linda Hogan. In an excerpt from her new book, Wrestling the Hulk, she wrote, he tore my shirt, he threw lamps, held me down on the bed with his hands around my throat. I was always afraid he would kill me in one of his rages. And you tried to kill her? Yeah. According to her. Yeah, I mean, that's in insane. Does that hurt you when you hear that? No, it doesn't. It just makes me feel really sad for her. It really does, because we pray for her every night, and we pray that she finds closure and happiness and gets rid of this crazy delusional situation that she actually believes, I think, what she says at this point. When I spoke to Linda in 2009, she told us her biggest fear came from Hogan's reaction to her boyfriend, Charlie Hill, 30 years her junior, and a former classmate of her children. Hogan told Rolling Stone magazine he understood why O.J. did what he did and could do the same. I thought, it's possible. I don't want to be a Nicole uh, Simpson uh, situation. I don't know if he could go there or not. Are you violent outside of the ring at all? No. And not in the home? No, I'm not. I mean, when we were going through the divorce and she was with her 18-year-old boyfriend, if I even was in the same town with her, she would file charges that I looked at her the wrong way at a red light and wanted to have me put in jail. So if I beat her up for 23 years, why didn't we talk about this at divorce? And why all of a sudden is it coming out now when her books come out? So it's, the whole thing is just so crazy for me. Hogan dealt with another blow to his family when his son Nick was involved in a car crash that left his best friend severely brain damaged. Nick was sentenced to five months in jail and during that time phone calls between him and his father were released to the media. Will you work on that reality deal yep. for me and get that thing lined up so the minute I walk out of wherever I walk out of it's there, boom. I want to do it where I'll make the most money. The new Nick, we call it the new Nick or something. Everything I said was supposed to be between Nick and I, and I don't regret saying any of that because I was trying to keep his sanity. And it was supposed to be personal, Nick trying to ease and calm him down. Like, it really wasn't your fault. It was an accident, Nick. But if he could do things all over again, Hogan says he would be a better father. Don't put a priority of being a friend with your wife first or a friend with your kids first, because that's that's the one place I've dropped the ball. He's now rebuilding his life and recently married Jennifer McDaniel, had 12 back surgeries, and is digging himself out of financial ruin. So you lost millions? Yeah, well, hundreds of millions. So you lost hundreds of yeah. millions. Yeah, there are houses being bought and cars being bought and vacations for family members. There's eight, nine, 10 million, 11 million going out. So it got way off. Mm -hmm. How are your finances now? They're getting better. I'm living in a rental house. Would you okay. call yourself rich? Would you call yourself poor? No, no, no. Poor? I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm living in abundance. So it's That's, not like what it was. No, 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 no. But I'm, I'm happy now. So money can't buy you happiness? It helps. It helps get through the day. <laughs> it helps make things easier, but it's got nothing to do with being happy. So for now, Hulk Hogan is focused on doing what Hogan knows best. What you gonna do when my micro championship wrestlers run wild on you, brother? <laughs> wow, that was really good. I've done it, done it a couple times. <laughs> and the show Hulk Hogan's Micro Championship Wrestling airs Wednesday nights on True TV.